delving into the gritty landscape of 1960s exploitation cinema, Faster Pussycat. Kill, Kill emerges as a raw, unapologetic depiction of female empowerment entwined with violence and rebellion. Directed by Russ Mayer, this cult classic follows a trio of fiercely independent go-go dancers whose pursuit of freedom leads them down a path filled with mayhem and unexpected consequences. Against the backdrop of desert landscapes and muscle cars, the film unveils a provocative narrative that challenges societal norms and gender roles. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? When was the first time you watched this movie? As the credits roll, memories of this film tend to linger, evoking strong emotions and sparking conversations. We'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Faster Pussycat. Kill, kill, share your stories and reminisce in the comments below. Random fact, did you know that despite its initial lukewarm reception, this film gained a devoted following over the years, praised for its boldness in portraying strong female characters and its unique visual style? Tell us about your experience with this cinematic gem, and let's celebrate its impact together. Faster Pussycat Kill, Kill is a cult classic born from the mind of maverick filmmaker Russ Mayer in 1965. The movie centers around three go-go dancers, Varla, Rosie, and Billy, whose rebellious spirits lead them into a spree of violence and manipulation. Varla, an iconic character, stands as the epitome of female empowerment and intimidation, commanding the screen with her strength and cunning. The film's style is as audacious as its narrative, characterized by Mayer's signature fast-paced editing, exaggerated performances, and provocative themes. Its raw, unapologetic portrayal of female leads breaking societal norms made it both controversial and revolutionary for its time. The Impact of Faster Pussycat Kill, Kill on popular culture is profound. Its bold representation of empowered women and its exploitation of sex and violence inspired subsequent filmmakers, artists, and musicians. The film's influence reverberates through various genres, from exploitation cinema to feminist discourse, cementing its status as a cult classic that continues to captivate audiences with its daring narrative and distinct visual style. During principal photography of the film Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, the cast and crew lodged at the Adobe Motel in Johannesburg, Ka. This unincorporated census-designated place lies in Kern County, Southern California, nestled in the Mojave Desert. Johannesburg's origin stems from a late 19th century gold rush, distinct from the renowned California Gold Rush of 1848 to 1850. It wasn't until 1980 that the movie received a UK certificate. Notably, the band Faster Pussycat drew inspiration from this film's title for their name. These unique elements offer a glimpse into the intriguing backdrop and cultural impact of the iconic film. John Waters counts Faster Pussycat. Kill, Kill, among his favorite films. This 1965 movie by Russ Mayer grabbed attention for its title, embodying speed, sex, and violence, according to Mayer himself. Varla, a central character, zooms around in a Porsche 356 degrees Celsius, adding an extra layer of allure to the film. Waters' admiration for this movie highlights its impact and distinctiveness within the realm of cinema. The 1965 movie Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, holds a revered spot in cinematic history. Among its numerous recognitions, it found a place in the book 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, edited by Steven Schneider. This inclusion underscores the film's impact and significance, cementing its status as a must-watch within the realm of cinema. Additionally, the cat fight scene between Rosie and Billy Bear's unique authenticity. Director Russ Mayer deliberately refrained from rehearsals to heighten the realism of the confrontation. While instructing the actors not to hit each other, he allowed genuine actions, resulting in real hair pulling and the throwing of sand, adding a rawness that resonates on screen. Furthermore, the film's influence extended beyond the realm of cinema. In 1992, the heavy metal band White Zombie paid homage to Faster Pussycat. Kill, kill, with their song Thunder Kiss 65, showcasing the movie's lasting impact on popular culture. These distinct facets, its recognition in a notable movie compendium, the unscripted authenticity of a pivotal scene, 
and its inspiration for a renowned band song collectively underscore the enduring significance and multifaceted influence of this iconic film. In an interview with Tira Satana featured in Psychotronic magazine, she reflected on working with Sue Bernard in the film. Satana described the challenges of getting a performance from Bernard, mentioning that Bernard's mother was quite protective and cautious. Satana revealed that to evoke any reaction from Bernard, she had to adopt a rather intense and aggressive approach, resorting to physicality and sarcasm to draw out emotions from her co-star. This insight sheds light on the demanding dynamics behind the scenes of the film and the varied methods employed to bring out performances. Tura Satana, the lead actress in Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, held a unique ownership of her image and likeness. This meant that any changes to the film's posters or re-releases required her permission. Russ Mayer, the filmmaker, had to seek her approval and sometimes pay additional royalties for these alterations. Satana's control over her image added a layer of complexity to the film's marketing and distribution, highlighting the dynamics between the lead actress and the filmmaker. The Spice Girls video for their song Say Ya will be their paid homage to the film without many fans realizing it. The 1965 movie Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, influenced various pop culture elements, including this music video. The Spice Girls emulated the movie's vibe, its rebellious female characters, and its edgy style, creating a pastiche that echoed the essence of Russ Mayer's cult classic. Despite the young audience's probable unawareness, this nod showcased the enduring impact of the film on diverse cultural mediums. Critically acclaimed by Jonathan Ross as his favorite, Faster Pussycat, Kill, Kill, holds a distinctive position in cinematic history. Ross, a respected critic and comedian, praises the movie for its audacity, style, and portrayal of empowered women. His endorsement underscores the film's significance, highlighting its allure to individuals with a keen eye for cinema. Entertainment Weekly recognized the 1965 movie Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, by ranking it 15 in its top 50 cult films of all time list. This acknowledgement solidified its status as a cult classic emphasizing its enduring impact on cinema and popular culture. The film's inclusion in this prestigious list highlights its unique appeal, captivating audiences with its audacious narrative and distinctive style. Its recognition among the top cult films underscores its lasting influence and significance within the realm of cinema, continuing to fascinate viewers across generations. As the curtains draw close on our cinematic journey, I invite you to linger in the echoes of the 1965 classic, Faster Pussycat. Kill, kill. This audacious tale of empowerment, speed, and defiance has left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, challenging norms and pushing boundaries with its unapologetic spirit. Reflect on those intense moments, the raw energy pulsating through each frame and the rebellious essence that resonates long after the screen fades to black. Perhaps it sparked a fire within you, stirring a newfound appreciation for untamed freedom and the relentless pursuit of one's desires. Your personal connection to this film is a tapestry of thoughts, emotions, and insights waiting to be unveiled. Share your musings, relive your favorite scenes, or delve into the themes that spoke directly to your soul. Let's weave together the diverse threads of our experiences, celebrating the impact this film has had on each of us in our unique ways. Your voice, your memories, your perspective at the enrich the tapestry of cinematic appreciation. So, take a moment to introspect, to reminisce, and to share. Let your reflections on Faster Pussycat, Kill, Kill, intertwine with the collective narrative we've all contributed to. A narrative that celebrates the power of cinema to ignite our passions and provoke our thoughts. Thank you for being part of this cinematic dialogue, for allowing this film to leave its imprint on your story. Your insights enrich our collective experience, and your presence in this conversation is truly valued.